In this video, we will make a tent cover. There are some options we need to change to put cloth on this tent since the frame is quite narrow. First, there must be more collision thickness between the frame and the cloth cover. When you select an avatar, you will see an option for Skin Offset in the Property Editor. Increase the skin offset to 10 millimeters. The default value of 3 millimeters is too low for the thin frame. We will show the difference in the applied value of the skin offset so you do not have to follow along. It is set to 10 millimeters now, so there is a gap in between the frame and the pattern or fabric. Lowering the skin offset to 3 mm causes the frame to penetrate the pattern or the fabric. There are two solutions to resolving this issue. Since the particle distance of the pattern is high at 20 particle distance, lowering it to 10 will cause more collision processing and eliminate the phenomenon of the piercing, but it slows down the simulation. Increasing the skin offset in the avatar properties is a way to work a bit faster. So in order, after lowering the particle distance of the pattern, you can then lower the skin offset of the avatar. Since the right and left sides are symmetrical, we will work symmetrically. Select the Rectangle tool in the 2D window. In the 2D window, look at the shadow of the tent and guesstimate the size to create a rectangle that's close enough. When using the gizmo in the 3D window, hold the Shift key and it will snap the item 45 and 90 degree angles. While in the 3D display window, press the number 5 key to switch to the top-down view. Set the 3D display outfit view to translucent, then place the pattern. Let's attach the pattern to the top of the frame next. Select the Basic Tape Measure Avatar Tool from the Measure Tool group in the 3D Window toolbar. Following the instructions, start with a click and end with a double click. You can attach the outline of the pattern to the line you created with the Attach to Measure Avatar tool. Left click to set the attach settings. When deleting, select the red line and press Delete to delete it. When simulated, it is attached by sticking to that measure line. The line on the Attach to Measure Avatar tool acts like a rail or a curtain rod. When adjusting the tent cover, the fabric may collide with the inside of the frame. At this point, a faster way to fix this is to rearrange it with the Reset 3D Arrangement Selected tool, and then simulate again. Simulate to determine the size. After repositioning with the Reset 3D Arrangement, you can modify the size of the pattern. After selecting the top line, add elastic values to create quick wrinkles.
Next, let's create a symmetrically linked pattern. Sew the center lines together with the segment sewing tool. Attach the ends of the tent to the fabric with the pin function. Now we will work on the front and the back of the tent. I will make a new pattern and place it in the front. Using the polygon tool to create a square pattern to match the horizontal length of the existing patterns. Look at the 3D window and modify the shape as you see fit. It is okay to not be accurate because we will continue to modify the line while draping in the 3D window. Create the back pattern piece by Ctrl-C, Ctrl-V on the front pattern pieces in the 3D window. Sew with the segment sewing tool in the 3D window. Sew the back center. The front is supposed to be open. Now onto art directing the drape of the tent. Pin the side line of the tent to the frame. When you pull the front and pin it, check the 3D window and see which position you want to have as the starting point. Click on the fabric in the 3D window and you can see the point you have clicked in the 2D window as a reference. Use the internal polygon tool to draw a curve at that location to create an internal shape. Selecting that line, give it an elastic of 50% or less for the line to create a pull. I'm going to make it 20%. After the front has been pulled up with the elastic, you can see that the ends of the material do not touch the floor when you check it in the 3D window. This is fine, but if you want the ends to touch the floor, you can adjust the silhouette of the 3D item by modifying the pattern in the 2D window. If you want to tie it again in the middle, you can add an inner segment. Finishing touches. After you are happy with the overall shape, select the entire pattern to lower the particle distance down to five. Set the fabric for the tent to cotton heavy canvas.
Before you do the final simulation, make sure to delete the pins in the middle of the fabric that are no longer needed and allow it to simulate. The tent is now done. We have a few more parts to this image set, so thank you for following along.